When it comes to high-speed rail, there's no project more ambitious or expensive than the California High-Speed Railway. Costing over $100 billion, it's one of the largest infrastructure projects in the United States. But it's not just about speed. The railway is also a key part of California's effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and make travel more sustainable. So let's explore this massive project and see what it means for the future of transportation. The California High Speed Rail project has been in the works for over a decade and it's still in the process of being built. But already it has had a significant impact on the state. Estimated to cost $128 billion, it stands as the most extensive infrastructure venture in California's history if it ever reaches completion. Currently, over $12 billion has been invested, with ongoing debates among state leaders as Assembly Democrats resist granting Governor Gavin Newsom the requested $4.2 billion appropriation sought more than three years ago. For many Californians, the project remains distant and abstract, unseen in their daily lives. However, this is not the case in the Central Valley, where construction has been in progress for years. The initial trains are expected to operate in this region, specifically between Bakersfield and Merced, with the target of passenger service readiness by 2030. Officials, though, acknowledge the possibility of additional delays. This contrasts significantly with the initial ambitious plan, envisioning the entire 520-mile stretch between LA and San Francisco completed by 2029. The current focus is on a more achievable segment acknowledging the challenges faced in meeting the original timeline. A prominent feature in the South Fresno landscape is the Cedar Viaduct, stretching 3,700 feet with four substantial arches and a wide concrete bed designed for future tracks. Positioned near Highway 99, this viaduct is one of over 30 active construction sites scattered across the Central Valley, making tangible progress in bringing the high-speed rail project to life. One other notable accomplishment is the completion of the viaducts in Madera County. This project involved creating a grade separation, a bridge that allows the trains to pass over a road at an elevated level at Road 27, improving safety and efficiency for both drivers and passengers. And the Madera County area has seen many benefits from the project already. For example, there have been improvements to the drainage system, making the area more resilient to flooding and improving water quality. There's also been an expansion of a local park, providing more recreational opportunities for residents. One of the most impressive aspects of the Road 27 grade separation is its aesthetic design. The bridge was designed to reflect the local landscape and culture, with stone-faced abutments and native plants integrated into the landscaping. This helps the bridge blend in with the surrounding area rather than looking out of place. In addition, the bridge is illuminated at night, creating a striking visual effect. The lights are carefully positioned to minimize light pollution and respect the local environment. This part of the project was completed in 2021. Moving on to the next completed project, the Avenue 12 grade separation in Madera County. This project involved building a bridge that carries the high-speed rail over Avenue 12, similar to the Road 27 grade separation. It also included the expansion of a nearby irrigation canal, improving water flow and reducing flood risk. And like the Road 27 project, the design of the bridge was carefully considered to fit in with the local environment. So far, the community has been very pleased with the results of this project. Then there's the South Avenue grade separation project that required careful planning and execution. It involved constructing a bridge that would carry traffic over the existing BNSF railway and the future high-speed rail line. The bridge spans more than 390 feet long and 43 feet wide, with a height of 47 feet at its peak. It also includes a noise wall, which is intended to reduce the sound of passing trains and provide a better experience for residents. These are just to mention a few. Some really impressive work has also been completed and also in the process of getting completed in places like Cedar Viaduct, South Fresno, the Tulare Street underpass in downtown Fresno, the Tule River Viaduct in Tulare County, Hanford Viaduct in Kings County, 
Conejo Viaduct in Fresno County, and so many others. That's not all. In their collaborative efforts with Dragados Flatiron Joint Venture, DFJV, DH Charles Engineering has also played a crucial role in the California High Speed Railway project. The focus was on creating a temporary bridge and formwork for the Tule River Viaduct, a vital part of the California High Speed Rail Authority's Phase 1 construction in Tulare County. The extensive 3,500 foot viaduct, comprising a 30 foot tall pergola structure with 24 spans, posed challenges. The false work design aimed to simplify construction processes, emphasizing ease of erection and inspection. Dealing with the sheer size of the viaduct, especially the 8 foot wide, 15 foot tall concrete beams, required innovative solutions using 24 inch diameter steel pipes and W24 steel beams. Navigating the review process proved distinctive, involving multiple third-party reviewers, various parties, and a final review through Caltrans. DHC and DFJV worked collaboratively, facing challenges to keep the project aligned with the California High Speed Rail Authority's standards. The false work design created by DHC was based on familiar construction methods using easily accessible materials. This made it easier for the construction crews to build the false work, which supported the construction of the permanent bridge. The design was also carefully considered to withstand the challenges of the local environment, including high winds and seismic activity. Overall, the false work design was a crucial component of the construction of the Tule River Viaduct. Completing the Tule River edge beam false work and formwork design in June 2021 marked a significant milestone. Construction of the Tule River Viaduct is ongoing, presenting continuous challenges for DFJV's crews. DHC remains a steadfast engineering support partner, contributing to various aspects of the project, from temporary trestle designs to formwork and bracing for different structures. As the high-speed rail construction progresses, DHC looks forward to further collaboration with DFJV, providing ongoing engineering support and anticipating future projects with confidence. These are just to mention a few. Some really impressive work has also been completed and is also in the process of getting completed in places like Cedar Viaduct, South Fresno, Hanford Viaduct in Kings County, Conejo Viaduct in Fresno County, and so many others. In the latest update from the California High Speed Rail Authority, their fall 2023 construction update emphasizes the remarkable strides made in advancing the project. Notably, the report highlights the completion or opening of 10 structures within the year, marking significant progress. A noteworthy achievement is the ongoing work on Construction Package 4, covering the southernmost 22-mile stretch of active high-speed rail construction in California's Central Valley. The construction sites, bustling with activity, saw a record-breaking 1,612 workers dispatched daily to various job sites in November. Among the key structures spotlighted in the update are the Conejo Viaduct in Fresno County, the Hanford Viaduct in Kings County, and as we mentioned earlier, the Tule Viaduct in Tulare County. These structures are pivotal components of the ambitious high-speed rail project, contributing to its overall development. Since the project's inception, the authority has also played a crucial role in job creation, generating over 11,500 construction jobs. Notably, a majority of these employment opportunities have benefited residents from the Central Valley, fostering local economic growth. Daily, an impressive average of 1,500 workers is dispatched to high-speed rail construction sites, underscoring the project's scale and impact on the workforce. Looking ahead, the Authority has initiated efforts to extend the existing 119 miles under construction to an expanse of 171 miles of future electrified high-speed rail connecting Merced to Bakersfield. This extension signifies a commitment to expanding the reach and effectiveness of the high-speed rail network. With more than 25 active construction sites across California's Central Valley, the project's footprint is substantial. Environmental considerations are also at the forefront, with the authority having environmentally cleared an impressive 422 miles of the high-speed rail program from the Bay Area to the Los Angeles Basin. 
This demonstrates a comprehensive approach to ensuring the project aligns with environmental sustainability goals. An essential aspect of the project's execution is the strategic location of a 40-acre open-air manufacturing yard outside Hanford, approximately 30 miles south of Fresno. This facility, surrounded by farm fields, serves as a vital hub for producing components like girders and precast concrete slabs. The finished products are efficiently loaded onto flatbed trucks, minimizing transportation costs. Craig Watt, a project supervisor from the private contractor Dragados Flatiron Joint Venture, explains that this decentralized approach reduces expenses compared to manufacturing in more urban areas like LA or the Bay Area. Without a doubt, we can all agree that the California High Speed Rail project brings a myriad of benefits to the region, ranging from economic stimulation to enhanced transportation efficiency. One of the project's standout achievements is the substantial job creation it has facilitated, with over 11,500 construction jobs being generated since the project's inception. The majority of these employment opportunities have been extended to residents of the Central Valley, contributing to localized economic development. The daily dispatch of approximately 1,500 workers to high-speed rail construction sites underscores the project's significant impact on the workforce, providing a steady stream of employment opportunities. This not only supports individual livelihoods, but also fosters a thriving local economy. The extension of the existing 119 miles of high-speed rail under construction to 171 miles, connecting Merced to Bakersfield, promises improved connectivity and accessibility for residents along this corridor. The electrified high-speed rail is poised to revolutionize transportation, offering a faster and more efficient mode of travel. Environmental consciousness is integral to the project with the authority having environmentally cleared 422 miles of the high-speed rail program. This commitment to sustainability aligns with broader environmental goals, ensuring that the project is not only a technological advancement, but also a responsible contributor to the preservation of natural resources. In addition, the strategic location of the manufacturing yard outside Hanford demonstrates a thoughtful approach to cost efficiency by producing essential components locally and minimizing transport costs, the project not only becomes economically viable, but also reduces its carbon footprint, contributing to environmental sustainability. But as good as all these may sound, the project still faces a lot of challenges. One of the significant challenges facing this project is the escalating costs and funding uncertainties. Originally sanctioned with a $40 billion estimate in 2008, the project's financial landscape has dramatically shifted, with current projections ranging between $88 billion and $128 billion. This surge in expenses raises concerns about the feasibility of completing the entire San Francisco to Los Angeles route. Moreover, the Rail Authority faces difficulties in securing the necessary funds as the $10 billion approved by voters in 2008 has proven insufficient. The absence of identified key funding compounds the project's predicament, causing delays and uncertainties regarding its completion. Environmental apprehensions also loom large over the endeavor. While high-speed rail is touted as an eco-friendly alternative to air travel, the construction and operation of such projects can impact local ecosystems and habitats. The Rail Authority's push for a 171-mile segment between Merced and Bakersfield, with costs surging from $25.7 billion to a minimum of $32 billion, raises questions about the project's environmental sustainability and adherence to its initial objectives. As the California High-Speed Rail project moves forward, it's important to consider the impact it will have on the future of transportation. What does this project mean for the future of our cities and our environment? How will it change the way we travel and live? These are important questions that deserve thoughtful discussion. We hope you'll join us in exploring these ideas and more. Thank you for sticking with us and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more details about this project and other projects around the world.